It's time for the Shields Game of the Week, powered by Rochester Motor Cars. We played hard. I thought we didn't play very smart at times. Uh, we gave up two big plays, which, you know, usually uh, Rush for Peterson football doesn't do. Um, but you got to be in the right place at the right time, and you got to be able to play blocks and make those plays when it's your turn. When we play Rushford, it's just, and just like any other team, I think consistency, the team that executes and the team that makes the fewest mistakes and doesn't turn the ball over, those things those things win football games. So, you know, we're not a one-weapon team. I think you look at Jace Keeney, he scored both of our touchdowns. We've got a lot of guys on the outside that can catch the ball. Welcome back to ABC6 Sports Zone, and right now it's time for something that you have been waiting for, the return of the ABC6 Game of the Week. Isn't that right, Richard? Yes, sir, and our debut matchup is a big one. Fillmore Central versus Rushford-Peterson. Now, when we were out and about doing our high school football preview series, I spoke to several Three Rivers Conference coaches who said these two teams will be the favorites to come out of the sections. They played twice last year with Rushford taking both of those games but that second victory, Jose, 7-0, just a touchdown. Exactly, could that's crazy. This be, could this match be the first of two again? Well, it's too early in the season to tell, but Fillmore Central, they definitely want the results to be different. We're going to go to the opening drive for the Trojans. It's sophomore Jonah Bunky getting the carry, and the Falcons' defense is going to pop the ball loose, and they recover it. A big turnover early for the Falcons. And later in the quarter, Falcons get all the way down to the red zone. Senior quarterback Dylan O'Connor doesn't get the best snap, but he still manages to sling it down the left field sideline to fellow senior Bryce Corson, who comes up with the snag for a touchdown. What a play. Amazing. Falcons up 7-0. Now Trojans back on offense, playing with a little bit more physicality as Bunky catches the short pass, lowers his shoulder, and barrels over a defender coming close to the pylon. But just short. No worries, though, because later in the drive on fourth down, senior quarterback Riley Tesh keeps it himself and with the help of his O-line, powers his way for the touchdown. Extra point was no good, but RP cuts the deficit to one, down 7-6. Early second quarter, Fillmore Central looks to respond, but another bad snap to O'Connor, and this time the Trojans' defense come up with it in the end zone. Trojans take a 13-6 lead. They're rolling right here as the crowd loves it. Falcons back with the ball, and they make sure there's no mistakes on this drive. Punctuating with another O'Connor to Corson connection for six on their side. We talk about six on your side, six on their side. Extra point is good. Fillmore Central retakes the 14-13 lead, but they ain't done yet because in the first half in the two-minute drill, O'Connor floats one up down the sideline to Jace Keene, who you heard Coach talking about, who comes up with the grab for the 30-yard touchdown. Extra point, no good, but the Falcons take a 20-13 lead at halftime. Here's what FC coach Chris Minsky had to say. When these two teams get together, that's exactly what, this is the kind of game it is, right? It's got to, whoever can uh, make the fewest mistakes and, and we keep throwing punches. More Central kept up the pressure on the Trojans, and they would go on to post a 33-13 victory. What a game, Jose. Jeez. And a, and a good bounce back for the Falcons. 